Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about my slacker beauty routine. I'm not going to talk about how I do my skincare, but it's kind of the extra things that I do that I get a lot of questions about. Because I really am a slacker, I want to put the least amount of time and get the best <laughs> results. I'm going to talk about some updates around here, chit chat, and, uh, and you just never know. First, I've got to talk about the elephant in the room or the lighting in the room. It is dark outside. Well, it's daylight, but it's really dark. And I never talk about this, but I had to put up some lamps and because I don't have any lighting or anything. And everything, with the exception of what I'm wearing, I purchased myself, like always. This is a birthday gift, and I, I have purchased many Barefoot Dreams items for gifts, but I've never owned one. And these are the Barefoot Dreams Lux Milk Jersey. Oh my gosh. I washed them. I've worn them. This is going to be a pajama day. And I just thought I'd come to you with my pajamas on. I have a, another pair that's very similar to this, but I love these. I know they weren't purchased at Nordstrom, but if I find out where they were purchased, I will try to find a link. And if you ever use any of my links, most of them, I will earn something. So you need to know that. But what I like about it, you can go directly and see if something's for you or not. And, uh, and, and I like that. I like that when I watch that in other channels. Because a lot of times I can click on a link and I know immediate, immediately if it's for me or not for me. My skincare extras are based around days. And on Sunday, there's certain things that I do every single Sunday. The first Sunday of every month, I derma roll. I'm talking just about my face and right in here. I derma roll that only on Sundays and I use the 0.5, the half millimeter derma roller. And this is the kind that I like. And then the rest of the Sundays, I, I use the 0.25. And I, I do think it's helped. I'm doing everything I've always done with my skin and haven't changed it up. So you're not gonna learn a lot of new things here, but that's what I do. Okay, every other Sunday morning, I shave my face. I love shaving my face. It's my very favorite thing to do. I love the Shiseido razor. I like the ergonomics of it. They're not expensive. It's never cut me. I've tried all kinds. I haven't tried the one that's like expensive that you buy and you replace the, the razors. I haven't tried that because I shave, I'd say twice with one razor, but I really do enjoy it. And it does has never made anything grow in any faster. I've derma rolled my face longer than I've shaved my face. I do believe, I think I've derma rolled my face. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter, but I, I look forward to that. This is every other Sunday. And then the other Sunday of the month, I found a mask I really like, and I bought it from Dermatology. And is there, it is their pumpkin enzyme mask. I've tried the one from Andalou Naturals. I've tried two other pumpkin enzyme masks that bothered me. You know, I mean, my skin isn't, it's still normal, but it's a little bit sensitive. And I do this once a month, and it's the last Sunday of the month is when I do this. So we've got our Sundays covered. When I get up in the morning, I go to the bathroom, and I always just cleanse my face with a wet, cheap washcloth. That as soon as I'm done with that, every day, except for Tuesday and Thursday. So these are my Tuesday and Thursdays off, but every, all the days but that. I use the Revitalash one pump here, but every day I'm still using the Vegamore. And I started using that on October 8, 2022. And I don't have any opinion of that, but that I do every day. I did the Revitalash on my scalp. I did that every day until October 1st, and I started leaving out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I can't tell any difference yet. Every time I wash my hair, with the exception of the first time I wash my hair in the month, all the other days, I derma roll, and it doesn't even take me a minute, and I will probably always derma roll. The first time I wash my hair in the month, I use the ColorWell Dream Coat. And I mean, I'm not always perfect. It might be the second time, but I remember I always do it once a month and I don't, I, I probably could derma roll, but I just don't want to. I, I err more on the side of caution than I do anything else. And when I do my skincare at night, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I use the Grande Brow and that keeps me from having to use any brow products to darken my brows. And then I, and by the way, this one just ended not too long ago. I opened it January 8th, 2022, and I quit using it 10-28-2022.
So I think that was, I, I, I think it was around 293 days, but I only use it three times a week. But that's, I think that's pretty good for something. And I don't forget this, but I also use the Grande Lash. And I only use it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll put the dates that I have one open. It's still going because I quit using it for a month. When I can get a good price of something that I really like, I get a backup. I already have the, a Revitalash backup, the, the foam for my hair, because I got an email that was 30% off somewhere. I just look for where it was sold and then and buy it, and it has gone up to $149. So I think I paid a little over $100, but I don't have a discount code. I don't want an affiliate. All I want is a discount code so you all can benefit from it. But I've asked the company, I've asked where it's sold, and they have not gotten back to me. I guess I'm not big enough to have that. I continue my regular skincare routine, mornings and nights, and, and I'll, I'll link that. I have it linked under every video, but I'll put a card here and then I will link it because I do the same thing. And if, and if I've made any changes, I put it in the pinned comment. Why I do that and I don't want to change anything is because I really want to see if this mask is going to work. And this is the Omnilux Contour Face Mask. I purchased it from the company. I do have a discount code. Started using it May 31st. I did some comparisons, but I'm not going to do any more comparisons until in January. But that's one reason I haven't been wearing makeup because once I do it in January, I can go back on these clips like right now and I can kind of see how it looks. But if you have on makeup, sometimes it'll kind of hide the valleys and the whatever. But what I have found out, what works for me is when the local news is on, I put it on and I put it on Monday through Friday for 10 minutes. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. And then I do three extra minutes just on my lips and they have improved. And I do use my Retin-A several hours after I use this. I, it, it, I think it recommends, I've read it so many different ways that some people say it's fine, some people say it isn't fine. I tried it, my skin did not react. I believe the reason is because it may bring out if you have melasma, and what I think is exciting, I am 69, and it may take me longer to get re good results, but I'm gonna get them. You know, I, I, I know that I'm getting them already, and I can see it when I look in the mirror, and that's what I'm gonna talk about next. I put my makeup on with a five times magnification mirror when I sit at the vanity, whenever I do my eyes, whenever I do anything, and I always examine my skin. Well, you know that I have been a huge believer in the Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. I'm gonna show you a couple of less expensive ones that I think are a good option, but I wanna tell you what I see. I try every day to look. I used to do morning and night, but I just wanna see what my skin's doing, if it's reacting differently. Well, one day, probably about a month ago, in the morning, I looked at my skin and I saw some lines there, but I didn't see them in my five times magnification. I saw them in my 15 times. And I thought to myself, what is different? What is different? What is, what's different today than it was yesterday? Well, the day before, Jim had three appointments, and I will update you with Jim a little bit later. Everything's good. And I didn't drink the water that my body's used to drinking. Well, the next day when I looked, they were gone. And I am so much more than skincare, you know, I mean, that's not what is so important to me, but it's so interesting what you can actually do. And to me, it's encouraging to not have to have any spa treatments or filler or Botox or surgery, that there's things that you can do, you can, we can do at home. And this is the mirror that I own that I've had for 15 years. And the only place you can buy them now I've, that I have found is from Sears. What I like about it, there's several things I like about it. It does have a light right in here. I don't want to put it right there. Right there's a light. I'll pr try to put a picture. I have it sitting on my vanity and I have it up like this. Well, I'll show you how close I have to get to, in order to see my face. Because you, I mean, th this would not be good at all to put on makeup. That is how close. And you just kind of go over area by area. If I want to do my eyebrows, it's this close. And this one sells, I think, for $59.99 at Sears. I don't know how long they'll have it, if it's going out of stock or if they're not making them anymore. But I paid over 80 for mine, and I've had mine for 15 years.
but because I believe the importance of, and, and you don't want to be critical of yourself. I mean, it's not nothing to, I think if like for teenagers, people with, I think it would really be hard, but you have to realize nobody sees you like you see yourself in these mirrors. The first one I bought, I like it. A couple things, I wasn't crazy. It does have a suction thing on the bottom, which is fine. You can put it on a mirror or you can stand it at your, or you can stand it at your vanity. It has a light around it and it has a place for batteries and it also has, it's rechargeable. Well, I can't get the rechargeable part to work. If I charge it, if I put the char the plug in, it'll be bright. I don't know if it is something wrong with this, but for me, I'm fine with that because I don't need the light. In fact, sometimes the light, it, it makes it harder for me to see what I want to see. But with this one, I have to get, I think probably the same distance, but I do it in, a, I'm already in a well-lit room. But I think this one was like $23. So that's a lot less expensive. You know, it'll move around. If you had a need to suck, put it on a mirror, you could. But I would just use it as a handheld or I'd put it on my vanity. So I went and looked for another one. And not all mirrors are created equal. Some mirrors, I have one mirror in this home that is a true mirror that when you look at it, when you look at yourself, that's exactly what you look like. And it's a large mirror that I bought fit, literally 50 years ago. It's not a full length, but it's very wide. And it is, when you look at yourself, it is exactly what you look like in your clothes. I will have people come over just to see how they look in something because sometimes you go to someplace and try it on, it makes you look heavier anyway, but it is a true mirror. So not all mirrors are created equal, some of them, are distorted and I wanted to check these out so I could let you know about it. And I know and I know some people that I can give these to. So that's a good thing. This is a regular mirror and on the back it's 15 times magnification. I think this was around $13. It is a handheld or you can put it down like that, but you have to get really close to it just like those to see yourself. And to get a clear picture it real it is clear. So I wanted to show you some options because if you're serious about skincare, you kind of need to see what's going on with your skin when you're using this or not doing this and not doing that. And once you've established your routine, you can deviate. When I when Jim and I used to travel and we will again, a lot of times the only skincare I took was my um, it miracle water. Uh, sometimes I didn't even take retina. I mean, I took very, very little because I knew once I got back, and we weren't gone for weeks, you know, but once I got back, I could go right to it, and I didn't go right back to it, and I didn't see any problems at all doing that. But a lot of times people get caught up, oh, I missed it, you know, I just might as well forget it. Well, just do it again. I have been absolutely all over the place ever since a week before gym surgery. I cannot concentrate on anything. I've been watching everybody's videos that I normally watch. I've been giving the thumbs up. I cannot think of a complete sentence. I mean, it's like, unless I'm up super, super early, and there's no reason other than it's been really over two years that Jim suffered with bad hips. It took over a year for him to get his first, you know, because of things out of our control. He got his first hip in April, his first, his left hip. Well, he has gotten his right hip. Surgery went well. I mean, it went well. The only problem, and it was really a problem, Jim wanted to be an outpatient. And his doctor told him, he said, if you meet these three criteria, you can go home. He met the criteria. He had a big hip surgery, removal of a hip, a new hip. We were at the hospital, in the hospital for a total of seven hours. When we arrived at the hospital, I went and got Jim a wheelchair, and I, I took a little tiny suitcase just because I wanted to put my pillow in it, because you never know, you know, I just, anyway, and it's something one that you can just kind of, he could hold on to. Well, I got him in the hospital, and I went and I parked, and it's a very smooth pavement. There is one step going up the pavement, and I just, instead of turning toward it, I just put my foot up on that step, and I'm not kidding you, I flew. Not only did I fly, I bounced. And somebody was walking in the, in the hospital at a distance, and they said, are you okay? And I said, oh yeah, I'm doing fine. I was fine, but and I didn't hit my head. I was so careful about hitting my head. 
that kind of held me back for a few days, but I was still able to help Jen. The night we got home, and you may not be interested in this at all, but I'll just tell you, the night we got home, he had a drain. The drain is inserted inside the patient, and there's tubing, and then there's other tubing that goes into the tubing, and then there's, we used to call them JP drains, but, and this is basically one, but it was round and it was about this thick and I, I would empty the contents and measure it. I did that twice. And then you put, you push down so it gets a, some pressure and then it relieves the blood from your body. Well, about 11 o'clock the night we got home, Jim stood up. I slept on the couch. He slept on the other couch and he said, oh my gosh, something fell off. I hit the drain had fallen off. Anyway, I got it taken care of, called the doctor the next day. I, I, I knew what to do, which was a good thing, but I mean, it was stressful. It, the whole thing's been really stressful. I didn't miss a step taking care of him, but it may have taken me a little longer, but I am fine. I am absolutely fine. And Jim is doing so well. When physical therapy came to see him the first time, they said, uh, you're already two weeks ahead of where you were in April. So he has two new hips. We're looking forward to doing so many things. So, And the moral of that story is he wished he would have stayed all night and I would have I would have wished the same, but we didn't and you can't. Hindsight is 2020. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway. And this is gonna be my biggest giveaway that I've done. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to your comments. comments. But when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go back to my old video, the one I did last, two weeks ago, and I'm gonna continue replying because that's not like me, but I just could not hardly, I just couldn't hardly do it. You just have to be 18 years old or older to be in this giveaway. And I close it three days after I posted it because I figured the people that watch me are the ones that'll watch me in the first three days. So Wednesday morning, I go in and I close, I, I type at the very top, this giveaway is closed. And if you have any questions about anything, I go to an older video, go to last week's, the week before, go to one, eight years ago, and you can ask me whatever it is and, and I will get back to you. The reason that this is, well, there's several reasons. This is a different time of year for a lot of people. It may be a hard time, may, may not be, but I am blessed and I had a good October. I had three Sundays, so I made a little bit more money than I usually do and several people use my links and I never will know who it is but a few of you have told me, so uh, I did make more money. So I'm gonna give away $500. I'm gonna give one person, no, I'm not. I'm gonna give five people $100, either an e-gift card or a deposit in a PayPal account. Uh, you may not need it, but you may know somebody that does, and, and I really would like to help somebody. And another reason it's gonna be $500 is the last video I did, and I'm gonna put it up here, or my, whatever, a thumbnail. Both of the people, I just bragged about how everybody always <laughs> claims their gifts. I had two $100 giveaways winners and neither one of them claimed their gifts. But if they do, I will still, I'll still do it. I mean, I'm not gonna say no, you're too late. I've never done that, but I thought that was interesting. So it's gonna be five and I'm excited about that. So let me think what I want to see. I want, there's a word I want you to say in a sentence, I want it, I'd like a sentence. It just kind of stands out and people know that it's a giveaway and I don't ever announce that. So what word, okay, I want the word joy in a sentence. And something that brings me joy, I tell you what brings me joy is hearing children play and laugh. And we've got some little children in the neighborhood and it just makes my day. It is all good, it is so good. And with God in my life and it's just really good. You all are the best. I, I believe it with all my heart and uh, I will see you in my next video and take care. And then the other Sunday, the first Sunday, no, I don't know, I am all over the place and I may, I've made any change that I put, to, mm. and I'm not gonna go into all that because I have information on that. I, I was, I mean, but anyway, and and uh, uh, there's, and I can't, I have to.